Hi everyone. All right, so I I was uh, about not even halfway through making a help video for this problem, um, which I signed for homework today, and it took me. I, I had ten minutes of video already recorded for help with this problem, and I realized that this one, I, I think you can solve it, but it, it really requires a lot of work. Um, so instead of giving you a whole help video about it, I'm going to talk a little bit about the problem, and then. Um, we're going to make this problem optional, however, I, I would like you to give it a try, and if you successfully solve this problem, I will give you a full extra homework point if you can come back with a correct answer and work that shows how you got to it. Um, so, but let me talk a little bit about the problem. What I want you to know about this problem is that this is one of those problems we were talking about where they're carpeting this gray part. And you can see these problems with lots of different scenarios, but we have, it's asking about how much carpet they're going to need to fill that gray part. So what you have to do is we have this big rectangle, and then we have these three little rectangles. Let me um, draw them in so you can see exactly what I mean. The whole room is represented by this big gray rectangle. And... That, the first thing you'll need to do is to solve for the total area of the room. Then we have these three smaller rectangles. Each of these represents a place that isn't being carpeted. All the dimensions you need are there. They give you all the measurements you need. But what you'll have to do is find the area of the big rectangle and then subtract away the three smaller rectangles. You need to find the area of each one. Each one has at least one dimension, either its length or width or both have fractions in it. So you're going to have to either use the area model or the improper fractions method. And I was using the area model for the gray one and then I was going to use the improper fraction one for the method for the others, but you can use any method you want. Um, and the main thing is you have to stick with this one and calculate each one exactly. Uh, there's just no shortcut to doing this problem. Um, I'm also going to I'm also going to tell you that the numbers here are going to get pretty big, so you definitely want to write everything out. Some places you'll be able to use mental math strategies, but there's going to be a lot of big multiplication, so you will want to write out those numbers so you have the exact right answer. Um, so again, give this one a try. I'm not going to penalize you if you if you don't get much done on it. Um, if you show that you've really worked hard on it and gave it a good try, I'll probably give you an extra half point or so. And if you can get the right uh, answer, I'll give you a whole extra point for it. All right, well, good luck, and you can send me any questions that you have.